Good afternoon, judges. My name is Veer Taneja, and I'm a co-founder at Propizer. Propizer is a visually driven online service marketplace that connects homeowners across India to the finest home improvement professionals for their remodeling and construction projects. Propizer can be seen as a close equivalent to Porch.com, a $500 million home improvements website here in the United States. This product has already been validated in the States, and now we're taking it to a new geography, which was not ready for it earlier, but now is absolutely ripe for it. Propizer is still in its development stages, and we hope to go live by early July this year. In India, people still follow the old traditional method of finding home improvement professionals. They make phone calls to their friends, families, and relatives. They, they get a time with them to go visit their houses personally to verify projects, ultimately, ultimately wasting time, money, and energy, and they might or might not even find the right professional for their own home. The bigger problem, the crux of every problem in this industry, though, is that the Indian market lacks transparency. The customers don't trust the vendors, but how will they trust the vendors But they've never seen what the vendors really do? Vendors lack a platform to showcase their expertise. They have, they're very talented, they have a lot of expertise and a lot of experience, but they don't have the marketing funds necessary to promote their services, and they don't have the right, they don't have the right promotional uh, platform. So we performed a small cultural anthropology experiment this is an Indian couple that was trying to rebuild their uh, apartment. They were trying to find an architect for this. And we closely observed what they did in a 30-day 30, 30 span to find this architect. They made over 27 phone calls, traveled over 50 miles to spend over 56 hours doing so, ultimately ending up with four architects that they had to choose from. If this couple was here in the United States, they would have taken less than five minutes to find thousands of options they could have chosen from. This is Sushmita Gupta. She is in, she's been in this industry for 25 years, and she's been in this industry as a freelancer, uh, performing interior designing and, uh, architect, and an architect. She has been, perform she's been uh, involved in projects in the same area, and like hundreds like her have been performing projects in the same area, but the couple never discovered all these people. Why? Like I said, lack of platform, lack of marketing funds, and ultimately not showing up in any search results. So we found the perfect solution to this problem, Propizer. Propizer is still in its development stages, like I said, and this is our website. When we go to market, our first thing, our first job is to empower these vendors, give them an online platform. They make their own, they make their own profiles on our website, add pictures and videos of projects, more, more intricate details like average prices of projects, where they performed their projects in the past, and, how, and, and which areas they perform their projects, as well as certification and service expertise. Then we bring them customers that ultimately are visitors for our website and clients for them. Our value propositions have been set forth for both sides of this business. For our vendors, we are a platform to showcase their expertise through their own pro vendor profiles that they self-manage. They get more and more leads through our website, they get constant, constant feedback through our rating and review system. And finally, they get competitive insights of the industry, the trends of the industry, as well as analytics like how many people visited their profiles, how much time they spent on their profiles, and what they liked and disliked about their profiles. For our customers, they get free access to this abundant data, which they had to scrape the net for hours. And now they have it in an organized format. Not, there's, a sense of, there's a sense of trust now for the vendors because now they see their projects, they see the history of projects and all the information that the vendors added themselves. And finally, the search time goes down to less than one minute and we allow completely direct contact between the customers and the vendors. Our market validation. We went out and performed some customer interviews and customer service. What we learned was that these people understand that there's a problem in the market and they're seeking a solution themselves. On the vendor side, we performed 137 in-person vendor interviews and re-registered almost 97 of them. Our market size, India is a huge country. Our market is 450 million people residing in the urban areas of India. Of these people, 293 million people have a household income of over $1,000, enough to use our services, enough to use our services. 234 million was the uh, 2014 statistic for the amount of people using internet in India. And this number is rapidly going because 65% of our country is made up of the millennial generation learning technology every day. 
On the vendor side, the home improvements industry is still in its budding stages. And they, it's categorized under the $140 billion worth real estate industry. 16% of our working force is dependent on this industry for, for a livelihood. For more intricate detail about the home improvement industry, 200,000 plus class A contractors, and then there are sub-subcontractors sub, uh, sub, sub and thousands of freelancers that we don't have an exact number for, but we know they exist. 62% of this industry is dominated by small and uh, medium-sized uh, small and medium-sized firms as well as freelancers, which is our basic target market. Uh, for customer and vendor acquisition, we went out and uh, Provisor First is our way of going to door, door, doing door-to-door -door sales and allowing uh, customers to get acquainted with the uh, concept of Provisor. Feet on the ground is after, after this phase is over, we still have uh, marketing teams going out canvassing. Word of mouth is very important since every vendor gave us two other vendor contacts, which were hot leads, which we, uh, after that, approached. We also want to go and uh, get advertisements, in, uh, like print advertisements, as well as online media advertisements, once we have the money for it. On the customer side, we want to hire a marketing agency to prepare a marketing collateral, then go to web-based marketing, as well as search engine optimization and search, search engine marketing. Our vendor acquisition cost for year one is $124 per vendor, goes down to $47 per vendor by year three. Number of acquired customers in year, uh, number of customer acquisition costs in year one is $11 a customer, goes down to nearly $3 a customer by the end of year three. Our sources of revenue. In the first year, we only have subscription-based revenue. Our revenue looks small because most of the year we're providing free uh, services. By year two, we introduce Propizer Plus, which, in which we give more and more analytics to these vendors, and they pay us a, a, a fee over the subscription fee. Uh, we start selling advertisement sales as we get more and more, more, and more tra traction on our website. Zip code preference is basically, uh, for each zip code, we're going to have a couple of vendors which are going to be preferred, and they're going to be paying us a, a fee for that as well. In the third, uh, third year, we want to introduce a bidding model in which, we, uh, in which customers post their requirements and vendors bid on the project, and we charge a commission in the middle. Competitive landscape, I'm going to let Satyam explain that. As you can see, companies on the left side of the x-axis provide different kinds of services like plumbing, dancing lessons, etc. Whereas on the right side, where Provisor and Home Triangle Live we deal only in home improvement services. If we talk about the revenue model, companies on the bottom of the y-axis work on a commission-based model. Whereas on the top of the y-axis, they work on a subscription fee model, which makes Propizer different from others. Competitors might enter our market, but it's going to be very difficult for them to immediate the kind of features which we'll be providing at Propizer. What gives us an edge over our competitors is the multi-parameter rating system, vendors having access to their own profiles, and a subscription-based revenue model. We make total revenues of 80,000 in year one, but by year three, we're, making, we're touching the 2.8 million mark. Our gross margins are 62% for uh, year two, but they go up to 67% in year three. We've crossed the benchmark. We don't have exact information since most of these companies in our area are private companies, but they range from between 40 to 60%. Um, our capital requirement in uh, after year two, quarter two, we don't need any more capital to keep the company afloat. And our net profit touches $905,000 by year three. Additionally, I also want to introduce a concept that uh, the Modi government in India is, uh, has introduced, which is Startup India, which, which lets us have, lets, gives us a tax holiday for the first three years of operations. Not that we are dependent on that, but it does help us once we start making profit. My name is Veer Thanasia, and I'm a co-founder at Propizer. I'm a GW uh, senior at the moment. I, also start, I started up Eventer as well as The Good Trip in, my, in the past two years. Both of them ultimately crashed and failed, but here I am again. Uh, I did uh, some marketing experience at ANK and Aflac, and at KPMG I worked as a mergers and acquisition analyst. Satyam? Hi, my name is Satyam. I am the co-founder and CTO at Propizer, handling marketing and technology. Apart from Propizer, I also head 7 Hexagon Tech Lab, which is a tech services company, and Digital Candy, a branding agency. Both of these companies cater startups and upcoming businesses. Apart from these, I have also worked with the likes of KPMG and IBM ISS as a web security consultant. 
Both the co-founders, me as well as Satyam, we plan to work full time on this product after I graduate, which is May. And uh, we, I'm going to be heading back to Delhi, and Satyam is going to be leaving everything aside and working on Proviso full time. Pranav Singh Agarwal is our financial advisor to the firm, and as well as a legal advisor to the firm. Uh, we set up a small intern team to prepare our marketing collateral for the future. Our staffing pre-launch is almost six people as of now. Uh, in the, by, the, by year one, we should have a team of 10. And according to our forecast, by end of year three, we should have 47 people working for us, and we should have spread to almost three cities in India. The ask, $35,000, that's a big amount. But you know what's bigger? 2,275,000 rupees, Indian rupees. This buys much more in India than it buys here in America. We could set up a team of 10, we could fund our advertising, we could hire a marketing firm, complete the development of the product, as well as hire an official space for full six months. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Uh, what is your, uh, how, what kind of structure are you envisioning here? So this would be a, a an Indian company and you're looking to raise money globally right now, is that right? So for US investors, how would they get their money back? Certainly, so we're trying to, uh, we're going out to investors all over the world. Like I'm in America, I wanna make full um, use of that. I wanna understand what investors think of the company over here, how they invest into foreign companies. And once they're, we have a whole Excel sheet of if investors in, are in, investing in India, what kind of dollar returns are they getting on that? However, the market scenario is such that if anyone is investing in India, they kind of have uh, alternate investments to um, to kind of, um, I mean, uh, complement that investment in India. So uh, that's what we've heard from the investors as of now, but uh, we are open to investors in America as well as India. Um, you, uh, you have two sides to your marketplace. You have the service professionals and also the consumers. Which side is harder to get? And then who do you charge? So who bears the cost uh, in your platform? Certainly. So, sorry. Our vendors bear the charge. Customers are completely free of cost. So the amount of money they're spending on marketing and trying to, ha trying to run their websites, but they have static websites as of now. They don't have an online presence. Most of them are tired of online presence because they can't, they can't sustain that kind of uh, money to be filtered into just marketing. So we charge a $50 fee per, uh, per, for subscription fee per vendor that sort of registers with us on a monthly basis. Once a, once a, um, once a vendor wants more, um, Analytics or like Propizer Plus, that's another model. We charge more on that. If they are zip code preferred, we charge more on that. So that's, we make, only, we make our money only from vendors. Customers are going to be free throughout the process. A membership fee to get access to leads. Certainly. So let me ask a question. Uh, these tend to be small businesses on the vendor side. Are they really going to spend $50 a month? Um, on a consistent basis, is, there, is it a monthly, is it an annual subscription? So that's question one. And, and question two is, uh, how do you get folks to the site? Because until you can get folks to the site, there's not a return on marketing dollars for the vendor. I'm sorry, how do you get? How do you get folks to the site? It's gonna be a new site, and mm -hmm. those it's chicken and egg, right? right. Because you, you're gonna want uh, if I'm a vendor, I want to spend fifty dollars a month. If I know that there are people looking at my Certainly. my my, uh, my my site on Propizer, right. So answer to number one is that the transaction size in this industry anyway is much higher than fifty dollars. So once they get like one contact or they make even one client from uh, in a year, they get, they're billing almost two to three thousand dollars for that because kitchen remodeling, interior designing, architect is all expensive, right? So they bill a lot. So fifty dollars a month is not really uh, expensive for them. $50 is an average fee that we're taking. If, if their services are less, they cost lesser, so we're charging them lesser than the other ones. Also, uh, for question number two, which was how are we gonna get them online? Like I said, first, we wanna empower these vendors. So we are going door to door to ask them to sign up with us, making their profiles with them, putting pictures, videos, everything on the, on the, uh, on the website, creating their profiles for them, giving them access to the profiles. 
We start marketing once we go into operations. So before even marketing, we already have 97 pre-registered vendors, and we hope to grow 100 every month now. So before registering, we show, before even going online in Delhi City, we're going to have about three to 400 vendors already registered with us. Once we go online, we start marketing, we start getting customers to visit our website. And from there, the transactions start. So we really grow regionally. We don't, we're not trying to go national in one go. We grow regionally, we go community to community. We're going door to door, and we plan to do that for at least the first two years. Uh, like I said, Propizer First was the initiative we took in which we're going and giving extra privileges to people and letting them sign up for free initially and then ultimately starting charging them. Um, so this is largely based off the market in India, um, which, which you know, as, as you've demonstrated, mm -hmm. is a huge market. Um, but you did also mention that uh, you are seeking investment from investors all over the globe. Is that, is that correct? Um, and, and so, have you done research in those markets as well? Um, you know, to kind of see, um, you know, what 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 the demand is there, uh, because I assume that investors would be um, a, a lot more attractive uh, to to the opportunity to invest with you um, if there were also other other markets as well? So right now, as of now, we're looking at the American market and the Indian market. So in America, they have you, like America has already witnessed such a product. And they've witnessed more products like that, like Thumbtack, as well as Angie's List. And you know, so they're kind of, they can relate to the concept really well. So we're trying to take an already validated product to a new geography. So it kind of, it's not, there's not too much innovation, but innovation and risk go hand in hand. So we're decreasing the risk for the investor in all, and taking this validated product to India. I, I might have missed this. Um, it, 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 so if I'm, if I'm a, if I want to remodel my bathroom, mm -hmm. uh, can you just walk me through briefly what my process would be? So I Certainly. would get on the website. Mm -hmm. Can I see ratings? Do I trust yes. those ratings? How do I like? How do I cut all the information? Perfect. Going through a home remodel right now, I can tell you, even in the U.S., it's an unbelievable amount of information that's really untrustworthy. Right. So how do I trust your data? All right. So the first thing is, this this is what our website looks like. So there's a search bar which you can search anything on. You can say plumbers, or you can even say uh, interior designers. It gives you a list. We we act more like aggregators, so we give you direct contact with them. Once you press on the profiles, you have a whole profile which opens up with the projects, videos of projects, what they've done in the past, service expertise, as well as like certifications, and it's a, in a very visually attractive, organized manner. For trust, so trusted professionals is basically, firstly, in India right now, they don't have this, so they don't see these pictures and videos of projects. So all this information already increases the trust. Then we have a multi-parameter rating system. Our algorithms, once, you, once these vendors are uh, rated, our algorithms pick it up, that what, how they're rated and what kind of uh, quality information they have on, our web, on the website, and they're ranked accordingly when client searches. Additionally, trusted professionals is going to be uh, when we send our trust a team to go verify the projects that they're putting. Ultimately, we, want, we foresee that these uh, professionals will want to get listed as trusted professionals to show up more in the searches. right? And finally, you have a reviews link where people re leave reviews and um, other, other clients can see it. So all this is accessible, free of cost. You don't have to sign up, nothing. So for the customers, it's a really, really a good experience on the website. 